back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family. My name is Sharice, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below to be notified when I upload new videos. So for today's video, I wanted to put together some of my top tips for hair straightening to achieve that sleek look with the least amount of damage as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right on in, and before you even start straightening your hair, my first tip is to deep condition. So deep conditioning will just help to moisturize condition and strengthen your hair before you go ahead and straighten your hair of course straightening your hair is damaging so from the beginning we want to make sure to kind of shield against that direct heat I have done a whole video on my deep conditioning routine that I will link up here on the screen for you guys as well as I will leave a link down below if you want to check that out later oh and also deep conditioning is going to help to give your hair that natural shine okay tip number two is all about your flat iron so you're gonna to want to use a flat iron that has either ceramic tourmaline or titanium metal plates on it so these little guys right on the inside you want to make sure they're one of those three materials so the first reason why you want to make sure that the plates on your flat iron is one of those three materials is because it will heat up more evenly and then the second reason is because it will release negative ions that basically just help to tighten the cuticles of your hair creating a healthier shinier and less frizzy look now if you aren't sure what material the plates on your flat iron are made out of you can just google whatever flat iron you have and look at the description of the product and it will usually tell you which material that your plates are made out of. So another tip about your flat iron is that your heat setting is going to be super important. For example, if you have damaged hair, you're not going to want to use a really high heat setting because it's just going to further the damage of your hair. Or if you have really thick hair, a really low setting might not do much for you. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and put up on the screen a general breakdown of how to choose your heat setting and then if you need to you can adjust accordingly the third tip is before you go ahead and straighten your hair you want to make sure to use a heat protectant to lessen the heat damage also really important after you apply your heat protectant you want to make sure to distribute it evenly throughout your hair so what you can do is after you apply it to a small section you can gently brush or comb it through. I prefer to use my Denman brush. This is what it looks like. And I will have all of the products and tools that I use in this video and recommend for you guys on my parcel store, which I will link down below. It just makes it much more convenient for you guys to purchase any product that I use if you want to. All right, now my fourth tip. To get that really sleek look, what I like to do is I blow dry my hair first using the comb attachment to not only make sure that my hair is 100% dry before straightening it, but it will also just help to make the flat ironing process that much easier. So moving on into actually flat ironing your hair, my fifth tip is to make sure that you work in small sections. The thicker and more coarse your hair is, the smaller your sections should be to ensure that you're reaching all of your hair strands so I personally start off at the bottom working in horizontal sections moving upward until I reach the top of my head but of course choose whatever sectioning method you prefer or whatever sectioning method works best for you my sixth tip is to use the chase method when straightening so basically with this method all you're gonna do is you're gonna run the comb through your section that you're working on and simultaneously you're gonna chase it with the flat iron so it just adds a bit of tension to the strands to help get that sleek straight look and it also allows the heat to be distributed evenly on all strands now if you don't already use this method I should mention that it does take some practice and getting used to since you're using both hands but once you get used to it you're golden my seventh tip is to make sure that you're moving pretty quickly with your flat iron and make sure that you're constantly moving while it's directly on your hair so don't let the flat iron just sit on one part of the section just glide it right through the section to help lessen the heat damage what I mean by that is when you're straightening your section you want to make sure that you're not just sitting on one part of your section for a long period of time you want to make sure that you're just gliding through consistently and at a good pace. 
All right, and then my eighth and last tip for you guys in this video is to have patience and just take your time. I know that for me, if I'm in a rush and I'm really trying to hurry and straighten my hair, I will end up using chunkier sections and the hair just doesn't get as straight and sleek as I would have liked it to be. So I would say just to give yourself plenty of time with this hairstyle. That way you're just paying more attention to detail and most importantly, you're being more gentle with your hair. All right, and that is the video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, feel free to share it with a friend or family member who you think might also benefit from watching it. Of course, feel free to leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me, and I will see you guys next time.